from the terrace to the ground. The regulations we have just discovered requires that it's no more than 70 centimeters and uh, we've got them 75. So what I suggested was that uh, we dismantle the building completely and then cut five centimeters off these pillars and then build it all back up again so we can be five centimeters lower. Or alternatively, we could buy more of this gravel and bring it up five centimeters and solve the problem that way. I think I'll go with the second solution. Those are the building regulations regarding safety. Only 70 centimeters from the terrace. And that's what we have to do. So all this plywood has been uh, taken off the floor now. So you can see right underneath the house, we only put it on temporary. So we are now going to put more insulation underneath the floor so that uh, no cold comes up from underneath. Again, about let's say 20 centimeters of, of insulation so that uh, no cold comes up there. That's it, it's looking good. Walls are lovely. The ceiling is absolutely beautiful. There is some food in there. The view is through there. And the window. The underneath the floor there. And all this extra insulation. The nails are on the edge. There is no nails showing in the floor. going lovely. So that's basically the plan. Small dressing room here, the door opening that way, entrance door opening that way, and the main entrance door going in that way. That's where all the joints have gone. And here in this corner there, this is the chimney, which will take something for hot water and also the stove and also perhaps from this side another stove for heating up this big room here. So we've now put down all this thick wool paper on the floor, on top of the floor that we've laid down so that uh, when the person comes to make the chimney in there uh, uh, then uh, they don't scuff up the lovely blowouts so we're doing it here in the big room as well just putting down the paper to keep it more but protected very yeah. helpful of it
If you look at the bottom of the window here, you can see that there's a space along there which is packed with wool and also up there at the top there's a space packed with wool and uh, what happens is these beams that they expand in the summertime as they And then it uh, contracts in the winter time. So there's got to be some movement here between the, the jams of the windows. So that's the way it's been done. Works. A little hinge on here. This window is done by glass solutions and it's uh, outside. And it's an energy window. And it's been well designed because rain usually falls on the window and it runs down. And when it touches the wood at the bottom there, uh, then there's a good chance that this bottom wood will rot. But what they've actually put on here is a lip, an aluminium lip, so that the rainwater uh, drips off. There's a, an edge on it here so that this bottom wood uh, doesn't rot. So that's quite a nice design feature that they have on there. We have steps on one side of this and a ramp on the other. So these are the, the frame for the steps. On this side, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five steps together. Nicely the way they put it together with the pressure treated wood. You look at the end here. Down here. Down here. There's two screws going in there holding it in place. And at this end, another big screw going in, hold it in place. So they're now putting in the balustrade or the kaide, what would you call it, banister around about the terrace so that the kids don't fall off. All the doors are in, looking good. Flattening out that area there. They're building the, the decking on the stairs. Making it level. Using the gravel over. Then begin to put the steps in there. Supporting it with some beams and or blocks of concrete and Checking this level. That looks like the benches for the sauna. It's all going together beautifully. On this side, we're putting in a ramp. The grandmother can walk up it with her rollator. What do they call it? It's for the disabled or the disadvantaged. <laughs> and there goes the decking for up from the ramp. Yeah.
someone would squeeze your screws in, you know, in a small space between the box. The bacon is going in. Almost finished. The screws are going in the mix. No, but you realize how big the wood you have to get with this and so it's spacing between them. I saw him with like uh, the Walker from Star Wars. Those are the cross pins going in for extra safety. So the people don't fall off the bus. Okay again. Yeah, there we go. Steps are in place. Now it's over there to make the ramp. Now there we have the ramp nearly finished. Moment can get up the ramp and we'll do the thing. Walking up the ramp and down the steps. Thank <laughs> you.